Welcome back, motherfuckers. We both know what this is. I'm just your little monkey who dances for your entertainment. You know it. I know it. So let's get underway, shall we? Okay, I'm in the bat cave. It's cool there's actually a bottom. Like, uh, earlier in the game you see the, these fogged out caverns below you, but there's actually something down there. There's a whole second half of the game at the bottom of those caverns. Bet you weren't expecting that! Nobody ever does. You know what else they don't expect? Love. Oh, oh, I hate this part. Oh, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's really, it's difficult and janky and takes a lot of tries to get it right. Remember that wizard turd? that I found in that side room next to the guy who wouldn't stop talking about the whales well guess fucking what here he is in the flesh emitting some kind of fart cloud I'll get your fancy hat you think I won't get your fancy hat? Oh, uh, here he comes! And this thing does not work on him. Does not work. Fuck! All the, uh, the whole family of turds is here. And the gist of it is that you have to trick him into coming through the gates in the right order. So that you trap him in here. Yeah, no shit he isn't contained. Uh, uh. <laughs> the old Zoidberg maneuver. 60% of the time works every time. <coughs> so they bury their dead? So much is unclear to me. Even having played this before, a lot of this is just fucking cryptic. They're coming in through there. Where's Buck? Wish I had a radar. That's gonna close pretty soon. Oh, uh, wait. No! Worst possible timing. The Jews did this. That's kind of played out, though. I feel like... It's, it's 2017. We should be more progressive. And start blaming everything on, on Turks. Because nobody really knows even what a Turk is. Or, I would say Croatians, except that uh, there were some Croats who made Sirius Sam, and Remac Motors is pretty tight, so Croatia is okay by me. Turkey, though, I don't know anything about it, which makes it perfect to be prejudiced, prejudiced about. I can just make up whatever. Is Buck contained? Oh, he's not contained. 
How the fuck do I contain this motherfucker? How is he so fucking slippery? Yeah, I know he isn't. Oh, oh, can I come through that corridor? Can I actually get in and out bypassing the fences entirely? It looks like I can. Wizard turds never leave me alone. Uh... Buck is contained. Yes. Ha ha ha, motherfucker. You want my penis. You want to touch my penis, but you can't. You can't have this. You can't have this. I'll just leave him there to be consumed with lust. The buck stops here. <laughs> I'm so alone. Uh... Well, excuse me, dude. I'm gonna chase you trying to touch your penis. These are the ghost bats, right? That I was supposed to be setting free earlier? Why do they want to imprison them? Deepest lore. Yeah, take your fucking time. There we go. Woo! We are ghosts! Spooky! Gaze upon our sexy ghost butts and despair! But also get the boner. Will do. In fact, I'm way ahead of you. I always feel despair when I get a boner. It goes surprisingly well together. And here she is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh no, it's- oh, that's why! It's feeding the ghost bros! What have I done? No, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. So she eats ghosts. But then the ghosts become the turds? I don't know. Or potato people. I can't decide if they're potatoes or turds. Really, those things are pretty similar. One turns into the other in about two hours. If you can't tell, this looks much different in VR than it does on the screen. There's all these visual glitches. If I look away from some angles, I can see Grandmother, which is some kind of eldritch monstrosity my brain can't even process. So it doesn't let me see all of her at once. I think over here. Yeah, see? There we go. She's a big one. And if, if I read the notes, if I bothered to. Yeah, she's grown too large. It wasn't enough to move her downstairs and widen the doorways. We had to put her out on the front lawn. Yeah, well, that's... Americans are getting fatter. And as, as you grow old, anyway, your body undergoes all kinds of changes. And it's natural. This is just what you'll turn into. This is just what we all turn into when we get old enough. That's why healthcare is so important. I 
wonder if that thing wants to touch my penis too. Probably not. It has a bunch of its own. Like, all of its arms are penises, so it could just touch itself. Oh, good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit! Oh! I think I only die if multiple turds get me. They're like zombies. They aren't like zombies. They're slow moving and it takes multiple of them to to get you and hold you down and eat you or, or whatever the fuck it is they do. We all know what they do. I don't have to say it again. This is so... Am I wrong? Am I wrong that this is so 1990s Batman Returns villain hideout? Because of the neon colored lighting and the cartoonish everything. Yeah, <laughs> Batman. You will never stop my plot to replace all of the old people's, people's diapers in Gotham. With live bats. I don't know. I don't know what he would do. Joker's a wild card, man. Because then you're trying to catch your poo poo in the diaper, but instead the bat just flaps its wings frantically like a spastic little idiot and nips at your junk. That's not pleasant at all. No, Joker, but it's also not funny. Yes, it is! Okay. Oh, this part. This is great. This is. Elevator levels. It's an elevator level, people. You know, you know what this is. It's time to spring the trap. You gotta remember three things when you're setting traps. Number one is watch out for clouds. Number two is never set spikes. Number three is lay them bricks down. This message brought to you by Bill Nye the Science Guy. This is a really unnecessarily large and elaborate elevator. So warm and round. I know. You're talking about my buttocks, right? So warm and round. And firm and jiggly. It doth please my nipples and my wrinkly scrotum. Or scrot, as the kids are saying these days. Like, do they have to lift entire tanks between floors? Did they build all this? They couldn't have. They don't have arms. Somebody designed this. Maybe he's a regular guy, just like Fred. Fred the architect, and he's like, I don't ask questions. They want a giant elevator with doors in it. I just ask what they're willing to pay. Danger gears. Of course I walk right over it. Bring it on, motherfuckers! Do you want karate? Do you want karate? 
That's what you get! That's what you get, you know what you did. Trust me, you don't want my karate. You know, he, uh, Skeletor used to just be like a regular ass sorcerer with like a human face. And he's not wearing a blue skin tight costume. His flesh is blue. He's like a evil Smurf. His face just got melted off and, and everybody, I guess, started calling him Skeletor. Yeah, He-Man. Do you find my new face sexy? By the power of Grayskull, I do not. You're repulsive. Your mouth says one thing, but the bulge in your loincloth says quite another. Yeah. They never tell you that in school. They say follow your heart, but you should also follow your loins. Not just one or the other. They both have excellent advice to give you at different stages in your life about different things. Well, that's convenient. I don't even have to get out of bed to trip balls and go on a space journey. Unless they, they're just like, what if they're huffing their grandmother's farts? What if these tubes just go to her giant eldritch ass and she toots into it and they just love the scent of her aromatic booty tooties. Not her booty duties. Not her booty duties. That would clog up the tube. Her booty tooties, specifically. Or booty pooties, I guess, is the technical term. No, I don't want to read that. I guess I have to. Oh, how I love you, Alice. How I remember you as that sweet girl. How jewels fell from the sky like rain. I'll sacrifice it all for you, my sweet. Precious daughter, I sing for you. I am alive for you. Don't let love deceive you. Destroy your emotions and put everything towards buying high-end VR gear and drugs. Be like me. Be like me. I've got it figured out. I've got this sexy some bitch called life figured out. And now, let the butt fucker eat begin! Like never before! That's right. That's right, it's that kind of party. You don't like that, do you? You don't like Obamacare. That's the death panels that we were warned about. Thanks, Obama. You see this shit? You bet your ass Obama did this. Oh. It's like, oh good, oh good. Why not, is the question I ask myself. Implying I didn't enjoy that. You see this shit right here? This is the future liberals want.
right into this giant Mountain Dew bubble. It's Dew Magic. Province of the Sacred Dew Mancers. Mountain Dew Alchemy is too real. It's in the new uh, Dungeons and Dragons manual. Google it. It's a subset of gastromancy, which is the magic of creating and ma manipulating foodstuffs. Except it's all the different flavors of Mountain Dew. Just Google image search Dewmancer. I don't have time to educate you. Uh, with a pair of which be with a pair of shoes in a land where the leaves never brown. What if I want my leaves brown? What then? You don't know me. Scattered with wheelchairs and hearing aids turned to the ground. Long night is over the shadow pass and farewells forever are done. No more fear, no more cold. Earth and sky painted gold and the land where we'll never Well yeah, I guess the turd creatures are immortal. So the trade-off for immortality, apparently, is that you have to sacrifice your humanity and become a potato monster. Which is exactly as foretold in the Book of Mormon. A lot of people don't know that. But really, Church of Latter-day Saints theology is what this channel is all about. I'm here to educate you. Oh, Toilet Chan! Why can't I quit you? Ah, oh, what well, for old time's sake? Oh, it's one of these. One of those silhouette pictures. It's never been clear to me why old people have those silhouette pictures on their walls. It looks like the, sh the burnt-in shadows. That was all that was left of the Japanese population of Hiroshima after the bomb dropped. Like it burnt their, their shadows into the sidewalk. I could always walk. You're not even a real doctor. Or my dad. But you can be my lover. Come on down! Guess the price of these fabulous appliances and they could be yours! I don't even want any of this shit. That radio, maybe. Maybe that radio. And the TV, I could play some, like, Neo Geo on that TV. CRT TVs are still good for something. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a chunk of her rancid flesh. I'll put this, you know, in the, my hobby room with all the other chunks of flesh that I collect. Extreme makeover. Oh. It's like botched plastic surgery. Oh, this, this is still here. That Why is that okay? Why is that okay? Do you even game design? Well, that was pretty fucking good. I think so. That's what matters. Credits music. Credit. If it if it's gonna have traditional credits, it should have all the characters in the game run together, linked arm in arm, and then jump into the air and freeze frame with them fr in the air. And and then the credits roll. That's how it's done. Jack Dar Dar Dal Rimple. Is that a real is that a real person? I think the favorite my favorite name I ever saw in the credits of a movie was a man named Turbo Kong in the credits of Batman Begins. It he's real. I think that's a Vietnamese name. 
But when I hear it, I just picture like Harambe in a classic muscle car. Which is, needless to say, permanently enchanting on every level. Justin Pappas, he commented on the first video in the series. Senpai noticed me. Yoshio. My heart is going doki doki. Hands how how handsome can that family really be? I'd like to be the judge of that. Show me some pictures. With like good lighting and some different angles. Well, that's that. Um uh, I had a lot of fun with this. I actually fucked up recording the last video the first time around. Oh, it's a Oh, now I finally understand why the shadows. I thought that they were supposed to be behind me. I fucked up the video the first time and had to re replay the entire game because I didn't have a save file in the correct point. That was fun. Speedrunning this game really took all the joy out of it for me, but then that's, that's life, man. It's just a joyless, grinding slog until they throw dirt on you. How's that for an ending? I'm like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. If you liked what you saw, uh, I don't understand you. you. You have really weird taste, but still, like and subscribe. That helps me afford more games to do more videos of this nature, if you're into that. If that's, for some reason, what you voluntarily watch. Uh, it's been fun. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I'm probably going to pick something out of my Oculus library with touch this time because not having my hands and being able to gesture as I talk kind of diminished this somewhat. Still, fantastic game. Check it out on Steam or Oculus Home. It, you do not need VR to play this. Uh, it just greatly enhances it. <laughs> kind of like how you don't need weed to enjoy it, but it's, it's an improvement. Um, that's all for now. I'm going to go sit uh, and agonize over the wait for chapter 2 which is still not out yet 